Hey guys, it's Carolyn at Empower PT. Today we're gonna to be going over stretches for healthy knees. So these are gonna be important if you're trying to keep up with fitness goals or just have pain-free movement of daily activities. So in order to do this, we're gonna focus on the idea called the joint by joint theory. So this says that if we want greater stability in our knees, we wanna increase mobility in the surrounding joints. So that's gonna be our hips and ankles. So to do this, Today we're going to focus on stretching those muscles in the areas right that I just mentioned. So that's going to be quads, uh, glutes, and calves. So first one, I'm going to give you five today, is stretching quads. So I have a wall just for added um, balance support. You're going to come into like a tandem stance. I have my left foot slightly ahead and my right foot back. And then from here, I'm thinking about tucking my tailbone down and under going into a posterior pelvic tilt, thinking about lengthening our right hip flexor muscles. And then I'm just going to slightly lean forward and back, intensifying that stretch. My back heel is trying to stay down. If it comes up, no problem. Nice. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So that right foot is coming forward, left leg slightly back. Big tuck in the tailbone, really dramatic. Almost think about engaging that left glute, turning that glute on. Tailbone's tucked, and then I'm just slightly leaning forward. Again, I should feel a stretch right around here, maybe even further down. So this is stretching hip flexors and your quads um, so that they're not pulling on knees. So if they're super tight, they're gonna cause knee pain because they're gonna be pulling at your knee. So you wanna stretch these, and give greater mobility to your hips. You can do this in half kneeling as well, but if you're having pain in the knees, we wanna stay off of hard surfaces on the kneecap. So again, tucking, and then just slightly going forward to intensify the stretch. You're gonna grab a chair. This can be done on the bed in the morning um, or you know, at the kitchen chair. So you're gonna sit down here and cross over your right leg. Here we're gonna be stretching glutes, so it's gonna give more mobility um, to your hips. So sitting nice and tall like a string is pulling from the top of your head, I have my right leg crossed over in a 90 degree angle, and then from here I'm just slightly pressing on that right knee. Being gentle with this. Again, I don't want any knee pain throughout this entire um, stretch routine, so if there is, go ahead and ease out. So I'm just stretching, pressing down, I'm feeling a stretch around my glutes, maybe on the outer portion of your hip. Sitting up tall, um, and then to intensify this stretch, you'll slightly lean forward, maybe even towards the knee itself. Perfect, go ahead and switch sides. With all of these stretches, just breathing into the areas that are a little bit tighter can help kind of ease into it, so it becomes a little less uncomfortable. Same thing, sitting tall. My left knee is now bent over my right, and then I'm just gently pressing on that left knee, feeling it on the lateral portion. And then I'm gonna add a lean and a forward fold. Perfect. I'm gonna show you a variation that you can do lying down, that you can do when you wake up in the morning, or if you're already down, doing some exercises on the floor. All right, so for the lying glute stretch, you're gonna go ahead and lay down. And same thing as the seated one, you'll cross, I'm gonna start with my right leg, cross your right leg over your left, and then gently think about pressing the right knee away. It's gonna be less intense than the seated one, so this is a, a good way to start. And then to progress this stretch, I'm gonna dive my hands through this little triangle and then wrap my hands around the back side of my left leg and then gently pull. You can rest your head and this should really intensify that stretch. I'm feeling it on the right glute and the lateral portion, the outside portion of my right hip. Again, breathing into the space that's a little bit tighter. And you can repeat this on the same side two or three times. Go ahead and switch. Now left leg crosses over, gently pressing away on that left knee. Again, no knee pain. I just want to think about a gentle stretch here. And then again, advanced. 
You'll dive hand through, wrap around, and gently pull your hands towards your chest to show them where I'm feeling it. Again, side of my glute and hip. Increasing mobility so that my knees can have more stability. All right, the last and final stretch. You're gonna need a towel or a belt. I'm gonna use a towel today. We're staying on that line position. I'm gonna go ahead and loop that towel around my right leg. I'll scoot so you can see. And then from here, again, being gentle and mindful with the movement, but pulling that rope towards my face. You should feel a big stretch in the back side of your leg, the hamstring. All right. And then with this one, you can add a calf stretch by pulling toes towards your body. And you can also kind of think about moving it to the sides to work that hip mobility. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides. But again, you can do that a few times on each side. I'm looping around my left foot. And then from here, pulling the rope or belt towards my face. The opposite leg can be bent or extended, whatever feels comfortable. Bent just allows a little less tension on the low back. And then from here, I'm gonna add that calf stretch by pulling my toes towards my body. It should uh, stretch all the way up into maybe your ankle. And then you can point away and then pull back one more time. And again, you can go side to side, maybe getting a little bit of a glute stretch. All right. Those are five stretches today that we did um, for your quads, glutes, and calves to increase stability in our knees so we can stay pain-free. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, go ahead and bring them into the studio.